All right, welcome everybody. I have not started talking yet. I've just started talking now. Uh, thank you for the check, though. I appreciate that. Um, hopefully, you're hearing me now, if because we haven't touched any of the audio setup in the last thirty minutes. Um, yes! <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Um, so uh, we tried to stream Tuesday night on uh, on this same setup, and it did not work at all. Uh, but I think we solved that problem. And from my folks in the chat, thank you all very much. First, all uh, welcome. Uh, Christy and what I'm assuming is Katie. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Welcome, y'all. Uh, glad to have you here. And we will go ahead and get started with the second half and likely conclusion of Submerged. Continue, and away we go. So last time we found a whole bunch of stuff um, for our brother. This game tells the story pretty much purely in pictures and, like, extremely simplistic pictures. And uh, it seems like... Uh, so, this is our protagonist. Her brother was wounded badly. Um, we got him and got out of there uh, and, and did what we could to, to save him and such. Um, we learned through the backstory of all this. Uh, so, you know, there were, there were people and they fished and there were storms and uh, our mom passed, our dad started drinking, and then got violent one night and we leapt in to, our brother leapt in to defend us, got stabbed, and then we ran away. Um, so we've gotten him some medicine, we've gotten him some food, a warm fire, a blanket, uh, you know, lots of little things, but we're still looking for other creature, wrong button, other creature comforts to really, uh, you know, finish out what we're doing here. Um, which means we need to go explore the rest of the map that we haven't seen before and look for more of these little red crates that we're finding. Uh, which means I need to figure out which direction I'm going. Okay, yes, that is a nice little monument we haven't been to before. <laughs> Submerged! Child Protective Services doesn't exist in Waterworld. Yeah, it's, a, it's about right. Helen Kens! I don't actually know if this is a, a monument monument in the, the game sense of the word, but we're going to float out to it and find out. Apparently it is! I learned something today. Gonna toss a bag of fries in the oven. That sounds awesome. The watchful lady. I mean, that fits. Oh, we're halfway through our monuments. Have we? I don't think we've been down here. There's a propeller thingy, which is, I think, a boat upgrade that we must have spotted, and I just didn't pick up yet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hey, 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 hey. That's behind us somewhere. Let's see if we've been up here yet. I, we might have. We're going to find out. Uh, parkour? Parkour! Ah, we've not been here yet. Hello! Sideways lightning. Or slightning, as I like to call it. I'm kidding. No one calls it that. Uh, can we hop down? No? Can we hop up? This place might be one and done. All right, well, we got our lightning. There we go. Down. Down to the flowers. Back to the boat. All right, where to next? Let's, uh, let's go explore that corner, actually. Let's go to the edge of the map. That looks like a, a stadium spotlight to me. Now we're going to head out to it. And Flying fish, I think. So we've seen flying fish, we've seen whales, uh, we passed a manta ray and it added to our log, but I didn't really see it, I gotta be honest, which makes me kind of sad. Let's see if we can get onto the stadium lights, I'm kind of curious. Uh, we also made a lot of fungal friends who have been gathering, who seem to be kind of watching us from afar. Uh, they seem curious, not hostile, but also not, like, engaging with us at all, if that makes any sense. Alright, we'll go due south. Let's see what's in the corner of the map. Clearly found the invisible wall here, because it's forcing me back onto the... Yep, there. Wow. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can boost! Wow, we have a lot of boost. That's good, because we have a lot of map now. Near as I can tell, the only... Uh, 
the only advantage of ship upgrades, other than you know being cool. Okay, that's the corner. Uh, is the uh, you get more boost, which is nice. Because again, the map has gotten big. Oh, a Ferris wheel. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we're gonna have to check that out in a second. I think we've seen. No, we haven't seen this bridge. Hello, bridge. New bridge. Very pretty. Can we go under it? No, nope, looks like that's as far as we get. Oh yeah, we're we're right along the bottom here. I gotta go check out that Ferris wheel. I think that's a Ferris wheel. We'll find out. Nice little sky spire there. Ooh, water tower. Hello, dolphin friend. Hi, buddy. Uh, ooh. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Watch out. Please be careful. There we go. More boost. Nine of twenty-six. We got a lot of those to get, huh? <laughs> the the boat she wobbling on us a little bit here. Uh, I'm not seeing a grippy point. We might not be able to go up this one. All right, so be it. Let's check out this thing. That's cool and also depressing. Everything I strive to be. The waterous wheel. Uh, all right, so if that's a no-go. So I was a little worried when we started this game um, about the, the sheer lack of guidance. Um, because it really felt like we could be going around in circles for a long time, not finding the stuff we need. But uh, the more I've played it, the more I've really come to appreciate that. It's it's the most comfortable I felt exploring because they took combat out. So when you have to backtrack, you're not having to like fight the same enemies. There's no risk of dying, which is really kind of nice. Um, so you can take your time, and the map is not like infinitely huge. This is not Breath of the Wild, not to drag anybody in particular. That's very pretty. The Titan's Spear, aptly named. I want to climb you. Hey, whale. So we can just take our time and slowly eliminate each building as we get to it, which is kind of nice. Oop, boat. Hello, boat. Yep. All right. Where are we? Oh, we haven't been this whole corner of the map. Sweet. All right, let's let's boost it. As my cats try to kill each other. So there is combat near the game, just not in the actual game. Um, in the audio for the game, apparently. As <laughs> so our cats are doing their best to to you know balance things out nicely here. They did not get the memo. are you? Up, oh, Regular lightning. So we got sideways lightning and right side up lightning. Actually, hang on. Can I drop down here, you think? No. Okay. was wondering if that was a secret one underneath. Eh? I mean, it's where I would put it. Nope, that's just water. Okay. Worth a shot. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. There we go. Alright, so these are here, but they're not actually supply supplies. They're just a thing. Sideways lightning? The fifth element. Oh well, yeah, so it is. <laughs> Look at that, it's all all of our lightnings right in a row. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, I think they're just, it's a whole row of storms. A whole row of just, there were storms, it was bad, everyone died. Well, not everyone. Interesting, okay. So, let's see. This seems like the kind of structure that has a climbable thing in it somewhere, doesn't it? Uh, oh, it has a boat in it, though. Uh -huh. There we go. Boosting for days. We're gonna go over to the the corner again here. I see a I see a glowy over there. I don't know if I oh I think that's just the sun reflection off the water as the sun is setting here. Oh yeah, now we actually bounced off. We bounced off the bottom. Bottom, the edge. 
So at some point here, we'll actually find another of the uh, the red packages. Oh, manta ray! Now we saw one. Everything still has that, like, touched by the fungus, the algae kind of a look to it, uh, which is both pretty, but also just a tiny bit unsettling. Excuse me, guys, I don't want to accidentally propel you. Speaking of propellers, I really thought I saw a boat as we came around that corner. Am I going... Oh, hang on. Ah ha 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 ha. You look very tall, and I don't think I've been up you. No, I haven't. Ah ha ha. I think we might have found our place. Yes, there's a little red glowy. Perfect. Eclipsed state. Pretty little uh, uh, statuary on this. The Elseworlds event in the CWverse show actually features Barry Allen of Earth 90, the world of the Flash 1990. That's fantastic. Hey, hey. Hey, David. I was very big into the Flash TV show the first couple of seasons. Um, I kind of had a falling out with a lot of those for no particular reason uh, until we got back into uh, what's it called? The, the ba -da -ba -ba, Legends of Tomorrow, which has no business being as entertaining as it is. It's not, I will not call it a good show, but it's an entertaining show. Um, and it's also gotten gay as hell for some reason, while the rest of the CW is like way behind on it. Uh, it's quite good. We do know what that reason is. It's one worth Miller and him being awesome. Also, Katie Lott's being wonderful and by, so it, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Legends of Tomorrow knows it's stupid. That's exactly right. It celebrates it, it embraces it, and it, it champions and it. Best ever. Let's see. You're up here somewhere. I might have to go down to go up. Let's see if I'm right. Uh huh. Yes, okay. Fungus Red! Hi there! Oh, no, you ran away again. Okay. You guys are shy. It's okay. I understand. Uh, ooh. Okay. I think... I think I... S nope, not you. I think I see where I need... Nope. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to go up sideways, please. Just sideways. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, Arrow was one of those that... that as a as a, a low-key Ollie McQueen fan, because I'm a big fan of Hawkeye, and there's a lot of overlap, um, I was really, really sad about that. I was really, really sad that the show took itself super seriously and didn't just have, like, fun with boxing glove arrows and things like that. But luckily, around the same time that that was coming out, uh, they had Young Justice, and that version of Oliver McQueen is fantastic and lovable. Also a great version of, uh, uh... I just blanked on her name. Black Canary. And give, and up, up again. And this time we'll keep going up. Down to the side, and up, up again. Music is getting kind of intense and I love it. Black Lightning is fantastic. Also, it's not a, a I don't think it's a CW show, um, but it is part of the, the, the DC TV universe, um, is the Cloak and Dagger show, which was fantastic. Um, Fungus Red, hi bye. Uh, they're, they're absolutely some of my favorite characters in DC, period, and they did a really, really good job with them. I feel like I'm missing a ledge here. This can't be the end of this particular journey. Ah, uh, ta-da, no, there. There's been hints that Black Lightning is in the same universe as Supergirl. Excellent. The first season of Supergirl was wonderful. I've... I haven't watched after that. I've I've heard, unfortunately, mixed reviews that mostly come down to, uh, you know, come for the Katie McGrath, and that's basically it. Just just that that's it. That's all we got. For which? For Supergirl. Uh, yeah. I know just enough to know that I wouldn't be able to stand the Monel character, and that's that's really all I need to know. But they brought Linda Carter back in as president, so that's pretty cool. I have to give him a lot of credit for that. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright. Sneaking through. Sneaking through. We're just gonna keep following the the path here. Okay, got it. To the vines. Do it for the vine. So 
Supergirl is usually good until someone talks directly to the camera. That's good to know. That's aha, a ladder. How high class. Alright, there's one on the side there. It's only been a week, but I'd already forgotten about this uh, game's uh, tendency to do the interesting, like, fixed camera switches. Where it, like, swaps into Resident Evil mode and then back out. I still kind of love it. Like Manal's character arc, he starts out just reprehensible. Yeah, I think that might have been what folks were reacting to. Um, again, I haven't seen it myself, so I can't speak to it, but... There were a lot of folks who were, were upset with the later seasons, so I haven't... Hello! One, two, three, four, five, six! Um, Alright, so clearly at this point, every time we recover a thing, we get a new fungus friend. Which I think means we'll have ten by the end? Uh, also, I forgot that our uh, our protagonist is also turning fungal on us. Yeah, she's uh, it's 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 coming on strong. Um, I don't really know what that means yet. Again, the uh, the other fungal folks have not like gone feral and tried to attack us, so I don't think I'm gonna eat my brother or anything like that. But it's probably not good, right? Okay, so we set out, and then there were rough seas. It doesn't look like our brother has been afflicted by the, the algae mutation thing. So there's that. Stitch, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Now we go looking for a needle pulling thread. Alright, well, we still got this giant patch just south of us, so let's head there first. Tokyo Dr- aww. <laughs> the current season of Supergirl has a trans woman played by a trans envy person who they subtly pointed out has powers specific to women of their species. That freaking rules. Um, I'm Clearly I'm going to have to check out the show again. Again, I had a really fun time with the first season. I just, I, you know, there are so many shows in so little time. All right, I think I see something up here. Hey, Tebe. Have we been up there? No, nope, we haven't been anywhere down here. Nice. Nice wide open territory here. Aha. Let's see. I can spyglass you. Nope. Not for that angle, I can't. Turn around, please. Ha ha ha. We're gonna go. Nope. Fishtailed. It's ironic, really, fishtailing in a boat, but here we are. Da -da 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 -da. And from here, I think you're just a yellow. Yes, you are. Okay. That's fair. Uh, Alright. We will keep heading. I think I figured out last time that the, the arrow is relative to the boat, I guess? I just remember if the arrow on our mini map is relative to the boat or relative to the camera. Wow, that's really not much of that skyscraper left, huh? Better to fish tail than the tail fish, fair point. Hey, bad road, welcome! There we go. Let's see what's up here. Up the vines. I don't know what it is about climbing sideways along lots of vines that will always remind me of, like, the forest temple uh, from Ocarina of Time, but here we are. It's kind of probably the same way that the fixed camera sequences will always remind me of Resident Evil, even though loads of games in that era use that. I feel like we all have our, our games that introduced certain features to us, or did them really well or really badly, and so they always stick in our minds. Yes, literally, actually, the Flash logo. It was! <laughs> Resident Evil used it beautifully, and I think that's why I always associate it with them first, because it was part of... It was part of the, the mood setter. Alrighty. Uh, let's... Uh, it's kind of even Steven here. Um, hmm. I'm going to turn around and go north here. We've got two patches nearby that are, are unexplored, and I don't know which one our stuff is in, so... 
Hello, dolphin friends. Aha! 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 Is that the same one we just went up? Yes, it is. Darn. Worth a shot. It does mean that we apparently missed. Yeah, we did. Ah, that's alright. Much as I like the little story pages, I want to get our brother feeling good first, and then we'll work on 100 percent things. Have we been up you? Uh, I think we have. Alright, so let's turn right. It seems like all of these are on the tallest buildings around, which makes sense. Um, so we can mostly just look for the tallest building in each quadrant. Can I go up you? Let's find out. One more turn. Nope, okay. Whale! So now we will go eastward. Manta ray! The manta rays are my favorites. Like, nothing at all against the others. They're great, but the manta rays are my favorites. Whoop, up, up, uh. Have we been up you? I think we have. Yes. Okay. So let's... Oop, boat. I did see a boat earlier. There we go. So there's the dome. Yes, we have been up there. Okay. So we'll take a quick peek around the corner here just to make sure we haven't missed one and then we'll boost to the other end of the map. Because I think we're done finding the important stuff in this quadrant here. I got more boat bits! Remember Ray Filet? I don't remember Ray Filet. I remember Bullet Ray Bill, but that's something very different. Beta Ray Bill, darn it. <laughs> Bullet Ray Bill is halfway between Beta Ray Bill and uh, the thing from Super Mario. Right, well, that's got a little note to it. I see a spire of some kind over here that I can't remember if we've been to yet. Okay, yeah, we have been to you. Alright, so now we have covered this area. Um, it looks like we've got five more or less evenly spaced things here, so we're going to turn it around and assume... They probably spaced these things pretty evenly across the whole map, and we haven't been to most of the north side. Wow, that light blur is kind of cool. Hello there. We've been up there, we've been up there. Good. Jack Finney, thank you. God, I'd forgotten about that. Transformed into Manta, Manta Ray, because of course... I've recently been made aware that there is a, uh, a been a rich resurgence in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic universe, um, which I know extremely little about. I, I know the origin story of it, but the the recent run, no idea. But every time I see uh, yeah screenshots or, or panels of it, here we go. Um, it just looks the the characters look incredible. Oh, hang on, uh, the characters look a little. They look wonderful. The characters look just amazing, and I want to meet all of them. Have we been to Forestlandia? No, we haven't. Excellent. All right, so this is the other side of that stadium. This is a a wide building, not so much a a tall one. That looks like a capital building, at least a government building. Captain, there'd be whales here. <laughs> Ugh, stuttering a little bit on the, the process. Oh, it's loading. Okay, ne <laughs> never mind. You're forgiven. I understand why you're stuttering. That was a lot to load in. 2003 and 2012 both got super good comics. Excellent. One day when I have infinite money and time, uh, you know, that wonderful day that we all dream of, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers are both comic runs that I want to get caught up on. But it's kind of like getting caught up on Naruto. It's you got to set aside like a week. Alright, let's see. This is a hospital. Aha! Any building that we get a cutscene for usually has one of the important things. Plus, we're looking for stitches and this is a hospital. So I feel like, you know, we're, we're probably in the right place, you know? Yeah. Because I think we went to the hotel to get the blanket. Um, yeah, it more or less works out. And up and over. 
Naruto is like two hours long once you remove all the repeat footage. <laughs> and the last time on Naruto. Yeah, DBZ was a little bit like that. Whoop, come on. Come on! I know how to get stitches. Snitch! Yeah, we don't have anybody to snitch to, but I like where your head's at. Da, da, da. Up. Hey ya. Alright, so we have a lot of up and a lot of over here. I'm gonna assume okay, so the up is actually too high. We don't have the options I thought we did, which is fine. Simplifies things. It's probably way over there. Or something. We're gonna keep going up though. We're gonna take the simple path. Which seems to be in the direction of the main objective here. Again, I think there's a lot of very cool collectibles on the side here, but if we went for even half of them, I think that this would be like a, you know, 10-hour stream. That's probably exaggerating, but it would take us a little bit. And we're finding enough of them just kind of on the way. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's a way down. So we do have to take the long way. Okay. But we can take it the short way to the long way. I've honestly seriously enjoyed the pathing in this game so far, which is kind of an, an odd thing, I guess, but a lot of games that have done the whole like cliff climbing segments mechanic have made me really start to appreciate the ones who, down please, uh, who really seem to do it well. We've dumped recaps, previews, flashbacks, and stock footage, and filler. You probably still have a couple seasons of Naruto. That's true, because weren't there like eight or nine? I feel like there were a lot. I lost track after the tuning exams. Or the grunting and gasping. Yeah, yeah, it's true. What's down here? Nothing. All right. Just what I like to see. And up. This is why I'm a big fan, uh, in addition to the, the shortcut recaps, um, of all the people who've done the, the abridged series of various anime, um, the fairly lovingly doctored parody summaries of everything, which can be just sublime, honestly. Eh? Yeah, we can, we can take the easy way down. No need to strain ourselves. Yep. And up. There we go. Hoop. That's right. Now there's Boruto, which is the son of Naruto, um, which is is somehow less original than the the DBZ naming schema. Which I mean, to be fair, no one should follow the DBZ naming schema because what even. I appreciate the times when um, you get up a skyscraper like this and they just ditch the music entirely in favor of windy sounds. It's a nice wide open plane here. Alright, so two roads diverged in a wood. I'm going to take the one on the left. Pretty sure that's how the frost poem goes. This is possibly it. Eh. There is a glowy down below me to the left, but again, we're gonna we're gonna focus on the stitches right now. I like this dome. It's a nice dome. It's got a very R two D two feel to it, and not quite as much of a Dalek feel to it, which is a really good rating system for domes. I feel like. Do we climb the dome? What is the what is the plan here? All right, so what we're looking for is over here somewhere. Okay. Uh, this seems like a way down and only down. There it is. All right. Hooray! We found it. Hey. Hup. Piece away. And drop. Victory. Red shining beacon. Every time I loot one of these things, they remind me of the uh, 
the crates from PUBG. Which do a much less good job of keeping you alive, I find. Only three more to go. Translation teams suck at Romani uh, yes, romanizing Japanese words. On the bright side, they gave us the Dark Wizard X-Death. And a lot of other absolutely wonderful mistranslations, honestly. Also jokes about Boruto's girlfriend Sarada being salad, even though that would probably have been Sarada, yes. Kiddo, you ain't looking so good. Like, I don't mean that as an insult. Now thinking about the Gargoyles Quest stream. Oh, it was such a good stream, though. Uh, so, Bad Road, um... We're contracting, yeah, like the, we're turning into one of these guys, I'm pretty sure. We're contracting some kind of fungal condition. It might just be dermatological. We're about to find out, I hope. Nope. It also apparently has some other after effects. Show of hands, all who are surprised. Need to stop the infection. Listen, kiddo, again, nothing personal, but like, maybe we should go back to the hospital to work on your infection. I'm just saying. Alrighty, so that worked out great. Um, let's go due north around the ruin here and see. Because I saw some other very nice tall buildings. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. That's the first cutscene that we've gotten um, about the, the fungal ones where they are just watching from afar. Uh, so I'm curious to see the follow-up on that. I'm taking a bet that that building right there in front of us is one. <laughs> oh, you're turning into a Last of Us zombie. I mean, I hope not. Again, the, the current fungal dudes don't seem aggressive. They see us, they let themselves be seen, and then they, they run away, which does not seem like uh, you know a violent or dangerous kind of condition. Um, what I don't know is how much of, of herself our protagonist will maintain if and when the, the, uh, the spread is complete. Oh, maybe I was wrong. I actually don't see any way up this building. That's right, we've been up the crane. I remember that. That was a cool one. Uh, how about you? Is that the bridge we've been to? That is the bridge we've been to, but in the meantime... Oh, hi there! Have we been up here? We have not, I don't think. It's a very Eiffel-looking tower. Right, it affects all the sea life. So the pelicans have it, the whales have it, the manta rays have it. It's crossed several species barriers. Which, you know, is troubling in its own right. Let's climb you. Sorry to keep checking my map, y'all. I just want to make sure that I'm not running over the same ground. Uh, again, it's only been a week, but these buildings start to look alike really quickly. <laughs> okay, we haven't been here because it hasn't given us the cutscene before. Kentref Steel. I don't know how we're going to stop an infection at a steel factory, but I do kind of love the idea of a giant tree growing out of the top of it. Nothing there. Oh, ladder. Man, ladders stand out so much in this game. It's kind of great. Like, it's weird every time I see one, and I'm like, all right, those things still exist. Country of Steel. Is that Joe Steele's brother? Or Cantrip Joe, I guess. To me, it feels like a misspelling of Cantrip, but, you know. Ah, da da and down. Oh, I can go over there. I don't think there is anything over this way that I can get to, is there? Nope. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's find a way up from here. Nothing there. Alright, if we can get over there... I think that's a quick way down. Yeah, okay, that goes up the same place. 
Where do you go, my friend? There we go. Perfect. Haha. -ha. Joe Steele, Metal Marine. <laughs> and up. That meme will just never not be funny to me. Uh, let's see. Okay, got it. So we go down. Almost all the way to the water level. To go back up. Hey ya. Eh, there we go. And then down to go around. Hop. There we go. Birds. Hello, birds. And up. Voila. One more. I think Joe Steele is the Statue of Liberty analog in Saints Row. I believe it. I really do, at some point, want to play any of the Saints Row games, honestly. I feel like the sense of humor is just right up several of my alleys. And it's one of the best character creation systems I think I've ever seen. Which, it's kind of sad that, like, any game that lets me create an overweight character is automatically, like, leagues above anything else, but, yeah, so it goes. Sure. Alright. Man, this one is, uh... This one is a... a, a, a heck of a little zigzag up and down. I don't think we've had one that go that went quite this long before. Uh -huh. Yes, I did see a lot of the stream of 3, and my god. <laughs> <sighs> and I played the, the first little bit of Saints Row 4. <laughs> 4 is what you might call off the rails. Yeah. Uh, you get that impression in the first, like, 20 minutes. It's kind of impressive. Saints Row 3, I can definitely say, after having watched Christy play it, um, I I would love the hell out of it. Hup. There we go. One thing I know about 3 is I don't like the, what they did with Shandy. I can vaguely remember which one Shandi is. I don't know the name super well. Down. And good. Wow, yeah, we we have gone around like three corners of this building twice now. This is uh this is a long one. I'm glad we actually saved this one for, for towards the end. If we had led with this, that would have been a lot trickier. And up. And up. There we go. Sorry, birds. What they did to Shandi. <laughs> uh, if I go up, can I jump? No? Oh, got it. Womp womp. I was like, can I, can I just hop over there? It's right there. But no. Uh, I could take the ladder down, but I'm looking for the way up. Ladder up. Hello, my ladder friend. And something to treat the wound. Medicine, hopefully. Hey, medicine! Listen, things are looking up. Um, if I remember anything about uh, Don't Starve, then we have most of the components we need to survive the first night. In, SR, in Saints Row 2, uh, Shandi's like a hippie, deeply promiscuous drug user, and in Saints Row 3, she's a she's hard-edged for some reason. I do remember her being like a badass. I don't think she was the hacker, or was she? I can't remember. It's been a moment. Aw, oh, kiddo. Could we have maybe gotten some more medicine? Well, now the story has caught up to the start of the game. <laughs> uh, so he is... He's warm. He's comfortable. He's stitched up. Oh, hey, the, the bruise is gone from the side of his face. Nice! Good! Okay. Get something to get Taku's strength back. Kiddo... Oh, man. Listen, I love you, kiddo, but, like, just please, please take care of yourself, too. Wrong button. Right button. Uh, okay. 
North has worked it for us really well, so we're going to go it again. Northeasterly this time. Shondi spent an amount of time in a fridge. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Alright, I was about to say I think I've been up there. Yeah, we've been to the crane. Okay. I don't think I've definitely not been up here. And there are some very interesting looking buildings over here. The architecture keeps reminding me of certain cities, but I don't remember which ones. And oh, hang on, have we? I don't think we've seen the horse. Horse? We have not seen the horse. She was literally fridged. Oh my god, like Indiana Jones style, except against her will. Oh, nice. So that's the the last of the monuments. Uh, that looks gorgeous. Have we been up that building? No, we haven't. We're going up this building. Like, I don't even care if there's a thing at the top. This is just pretty. Look at this. Oh, there's a thing at the top. Cool. Right. Kitets Municipal. Kitets? Kitech. Kitech? I got nothing. Eh. Yep. Drain pipe. If I keep going up, are there other jumping off points? Okay, that's where it ends. Okay. Over here. And there. We hand walk. <gasps> Fungus friend! I saw you being all sneaky. Yep. Yep. There we go. And walk across the thing. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yoink. Let's check in real quick. The city story. I'm going to scroll to the top here. Uh, the swirl is like an in the beginning thing. There's a plane, so it's clearly high technology. Um, you know, people, and also at least one dog. Uh, number 11, I think, is talking about like overpopulation. Um, and then the flash arrived, and then there was the storm of the century. The waters rose, all the people were, you know, more or less drowning. More storms, more, I'm just going to go and assume bad. Um, 31 through 35 is probably lots of people drowning and dying. Uh, the plants grew up from underneath. Uh, oh, the plants. 38 might be them attacking the people? It's hard for me to tell. Uh, the waters rose way the hell up and then eventually receded and when they did all the buildings turned from yellow to green so the plants had taken over and had taken over the people uh, and now we haven't seen a fungus dog yet but I really hope we do before the end of all this uh, but the fungus people have taken over and I'm not really sure where that one's going We're definitely still missing a lot of pieces of the story, but I don't think we're missing any, like, whole chapters yet. Okay, this... Eh, nope. To the side, please. There we go. My controller and I occasionally have disagreements over left and right. There we go. Or more like left and up, I guess. Oh, nope. This... See, again with the... There we go. Da, 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 da. This music is still kind of intense. Alright. Just making sure I didn't go in a big circle. Yeah, the one of the plants attacking the people could also have just been two giant cactus butts farting on them. I love coming back to a chat with no context. What timing, right? Up and to the left. Up and to the left. Hit it back. So, I have been playing this one on controller so far, um, which I think... I don't know, a lot of games I can I can give a pretty clear recommendation as to, to which control scheme probably would be more comfortable. Um, this one I think has got a good balance. Like, I think you could absolutely mouse and keyboard this one and it would feel just as smooth. Which is also rare. There are a lot of games show favoritism in one way or another. 
Right, where do you live in our story? Okay, so the cactus butts, butts fart, and then it's just all methane all the way down. Christy, you started this headcanon, and I'm hanging it on you. Alrighty, hip, and down. Whoop. Nope, too far. And around. Sneaky sneak. It's a good thing this kid weighs like 70 pounds soaking wet. Oh, this might be dangerous. Yep. I'm pretty sure I saw... i just check around real quick. Nope, alright. I love that those are still working. We get the thing! Y'all, we have one more of these to find, so we're definitely coming up on the end here. I'm curious if we'll get another visitation from our friends. Something to get his strength back. So, steroids. One, two, three. Okay, it's the same six dudes. They haven't, uh, they haven't overpopulated that ledge yet. I'm curious to see if they'll approach again, now that we're at the penultimate step here. It's a weird thing, but I also appreciate that now that it's night, she bioluminesces. Like, I'm worried for her, but also, it's kind of cool. I'm a bad person. So, for a minute there, I was going to assume that the plus was first aid, but now I'm not certain. Our brother is looking a lot better. Like, he had a, a bad bruise on his cheek when we got in. That's all healed up. Um, yeah, still growing around, probably in pain. Something. That See, that's it. All right, so now we need painkillers. Which skyscraper do we think has the coating? All righty. Uh, well, there's that big old chunk up north that we haven't taken a look at. That's where we're going. And I bet I know which building it is. If I'm right, I'm very excited to see it. It was the building that was, in fact, so tall, the game stuttered for a moment, just loading it in the distance. Bonk. Swing that around. Is there a way through here, or did I misremember? I misremembered! That's alright. Da, da, da. Let's go ahead and turn first. There we are. I appreciate that in this one you can't actually... You can't drift a whole lot. You can boost, but then you kind of got to stop. I don't think we've been up you guys. Yeah, we have been up some of you guys. Right, we went up you. I don't think we've been up y'all. Can we get up y'all? Hello, dolphin friend. Hey, Xenon, welcome. It is very dark, and I'm a little scared. The thunder is not helping. Alright, looks like we cannot climb the round building. What about you? You look gorgeous. Let's see. Okay, so this was the building I thought it was, and now it's looking like I am wrong. Which has me all kinds of curious for what building it is. Oh, there's one over there. Have we been up you? We have not. I don't think we can climb that one. We can climb you, probably, maybe? No? Bonk. Bonk. We can definitely... Looks like we can climb you. We're running out of road here. Ooh. I'm really wanting one of these like ridiculous skyscrapers to be one that we can can climb up. Cause that would just be amazing. But so far, no luck. Let's see if we can climb up you. Can't see anything up there yet though.
Let's see, where is oh boat boat We get the butt. There we go. Let's swim around this one for just a mo. Nope, I'm incorrect. There doesn't seem to be a way up this one. Never mind. How about you? You look like you have a name. And an impressive Okay, we've been up that one. We head west. Ooh, hello. Nope, that's the same round one from before. I keep getting distracted by those ones because they're so pretty and huge. It's possible I have a type. You look quite nice. Are you climbable? Well, we haven't been up there, so that's a start. Fucking Anne McCaffrey. Making me cry in junior high and understanding why. Nice. The Dolphins of Pern. Got it. Got it. Nice. Pern series is on my list after I get done uh, getting caught up on Discworld. Um, I fully expect that I will not be as into Pern now as if I'd read it in my teens. Um, but at the same time, I'm very immature, so that might not be the case. Alright, let's keep heading this way. There's a lot of unknown in this last little quadrant of the map that I would like to explore. Nice communication tower, always good. Ooh, there we go. Ah! Hi there! You're tall. You'll do. <gasps> this might be it. This might be it. Skyline condos. And so it all ends here at Skyline Miami. The Elder Skulls Skyline. Hey, Dave. Uh, I am, yeah, it is hard not to uh, enjoy Discworld. Um, I have read the books in an order that everyone who is a fan of the books told me I should not read them in, and yet I've been enjoying the hell out of them anyway. Um, I actually started with Color of Magic, and it was great, and everyone, I, everyone who is familiar with Discworld who I tell, I started with Color of Magic, was like, oh no, why? But it was great, y'all. Um, Light Fantastic is on my list. I think I'm actually going to put it away for, uh, instead, uh, Guards Guards, which is, I think, one of the Sam Vimes books. Fungus Friend, hello! Uh, that I'm very excited about. And I, I want to I wanna get some Sam Vimes under my belt before I get too much into the rest of the series. Uh, I've kind of seen the Hogfather story, um, and there are a couple of the other... There's the the witches series within Discworld that I've been told really good things about and and really want to see. I have a I have a not even a list. I have a spreadsheet of the the many recommendations I've been given about paths through the Discworld. I almost said discography, but you know, uh, bibliography. It's it's kind of amazing. It's like the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, but you know, for books written by Englishmen. It just gets better as you go. That's, yeah, I mean, I, the little bit I've read of Light Fantastic, I already adore. There we go. I have finished Equal Rights if you want to borrow. Ooh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. There we go. Hiya. My exposure to Discworld, um, I think, actually was the, the BBC Hogfather special with Susan Death, and I pretty much instantly fell in love with it right there. Uh, that speech, that, that the conversation that Death and Susan have towards the very end of the film uh, is, if you have not seen it, I highly recommend it. I guarantee you it's on YouTube. It's maybe two minutes of, of dialogue, and it is some of the most meaningful text I think I've ever read. Well, no idea which way to go, but it's a big square, so... We chose right. Maybe. Ladder. Ladders mean we chose right. Nope. Nope, but kid, I need you to... There we go. Huh? Nope. Listen, kid, we we need to have a conversation, you and I. There we go. Ha ha, and we're off. <laughs> ah, we made it. Nice little calm tower. I'm going to sneak across here. This is, uh... Oh, fungus friend. Hello there. No, don't... Hang on, I want to... But talk to me. All right. 
One day, one day I will learn what they're all about. Huh? Uh. <laughs> so, that's the last chapter in the city's story. Um, which seems to indicate that the entire globe is underwater, except here. My first Pratchett was not uh, Discworld at all. Uh, it was actually Good Omens that he wrote with Neil Gaiman, which I am extremely hyped to see adapted now. Um, it just it looks like it's going to be superb. Uh, I cannot wait. That's a book I still go back to, and I rarely go back to books, but that one is just... It's so singular. Ugh, come on. It's also written like it was meant to be a, an incredibly good movie, so I think it'll adapt to screen extremely well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to see that one. Dryland is a myth. Nice. I knew we were going to get a Waterworld reference in here eventually. Alrighty, this is our last component. Let's see what happens. Aha! More steroids. <laughs> now this is the, the painkiller. And like all good painkillers, it comes at the end of a long and sharp needle. Fungus friends, come talk to us. Hey, hey guys, hey guys. Like and subscribe. Huh? Huh? Okay, I'm sorry, I apologize for that, that was bad. Again, I feel bad for her, but also, like, the glowing is super cool, and I kind of want it. And so she went out again. I'm wondering if the plus means that she has contracted the fungal whatever. Infection almost seems like too harsh of a word. Uh, condition? Condition. We'll go with condition. Nice and neutral. Dang, his eyes are huge. Oh, hang on. Green around the gills. I hope she doesn't have gills. I mean, maybe that'd be a good thing, actually. Hello, friends. Hi. So, if you guys can take the fungus away, I, I assume that they were humans once. That's probably a bad assumption. I, I don't know. I kind of want to know, though. They're, they're, they're helpful fungus friends. Um, they, they took the, the affliction away, which, given that she kept, like, lying down and curling up in pain, I'm assuming that at, at minimum the transition into a fungal one was not great. Um, but they've just been lurking on the edges up until now. Uh... And apparently chose that moment. Maybe they sensed that we were ready to go? I don't know. But holy crap. Uh, so the story of the city has already told us that most of the rest of the world is underwater still. And maybe the waters are still receding. But I gotta tell you, uh, I'm thinking they're probably better off just heading back to the city and hanging out with the fungus friends. You know, maybe work on some kind of a rudimentary language together. Gotta be honest, thought I would see credits. Are there credits? Oh, explore. Nice. Let's hop back in. Um, so that was Submerged. A very chill, nice, peaceful, mysterious game that never really bothers to over-explain anything, which honestly, I kind of love. Uh, so we're all cured. Our brother is clearly better because he's not there. Um, let's see if he's in the boat because this would actually be kind of cool. Nope, our brother has vanished. He has, we have consigned him to the waves. He is gone forever and he will be missed. But holy crap. Yeah, so this was just, you know, it was a, a, a cute little quick exploration game of a just a gorgeous world out here. And like there's so much else to find. We have obviously a lot. I think we got about half of the pages of the city story. So we have... I don't know that we have much more to learn. It, it really seems like each line is kind of its own chapter, so you can kind of get the gist. But yeah, this is kind of cool. This is I I like 
I like the world that this set up, the the kind of hopeful post post apocalyptic uh, thing that we found. Still have no idea what our other two creatures are. Uh, dolphins, flying fish, manta ray, pelicans, people, whale, and two more. No idea what those are. Uh, I'm gonna have to go look at them. I'm curious. Uh, they had a billboard, a bridge. The crane was cool. That was one of the first ones we saw. The Ferris wheel, the horse. I love the horse's uh, picture there. Uh, yeah, this. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, even just this art style for the the storytelling bits kind of added to the emotional weight of this really well. Um, it. I don't usually get to the end of a game and have like nothing bad to say about it, but I have nothing bad to say about Submerged. Um, it it handled beautifully. It the pathing was 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 engaging, but not like punishing. The lack of combat was a superb choice. Uh, yeah, this is the most fun I've ever had in a quote-unquote open-world game. Because the exploring actually felt fun. It actually felt interesting and rewarding and not, like, punishing and exhausting. Uh, I, I might just immediately start a new playthrough and, and go again. Um, but for now, uh, we will go ahead and, and call the stream there a little bit early. Because we have, have wrapped things up, saved our brother, uh, gotten saved ourselves. Um, and, you know, now we have some uh, some fungus friends to go out and befriend. Uh, not in the Nanaha way, but actually, like, you know, get to know them and, and find out what their whole deal is. Establish some kind of Dharmak and Jalada Tanagra conversation with them. And, and uh, you know, we'll go from there. Build a new society together. Us and the fungi living together in harmony uh, atop very tall buildings that we now own that still have some operating parts for some reason. Anyway, uh... None of that matters terribly much. Uh, let's see, it, it is Friday night. No, it's Thursday night, Thursday night. Uh, which means over on the Squirrel Lily channel here in a little bit, which will probably be, we're, we're wrapping up a little bit early, so it may be uh, another little, little while yet. <laughs> um, depending on the how the night and the weather is going, uh, Alice may be over there here in a bit uh, streaming uh, Lego build, which uh, last I checked in was the giant truck build, which was just amazing. Um, I don't know if that's the plan again tonight, uh, but it, if so, and even if not, honestly, it's going to be fantastic. I highly recommend heading over there, and uh, yes, it is Lego night. Fantastic. Uh, the Lego builds are so great. The camera setup they've got. If you enjoyed kind of how chill and calming this was, I can't recommend that enough. Uh, so on that, and on our lovely whale friend's very cinematic little appearance there, mugging for the camera. I see how you do. Uh, we'll go ahead and call it night there. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping in. And I'll catch you around for the next one.